All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, as I mentioned, a lot of the state uh, dry. That's where you see that yellow, but the tannish color is where we have moderate drought and this has been progressively getting worse over the last few months. It's been very dry since the end of July. Uh, Great Falls looks very dry. This is actually geyser looking at the high woods here, but beautiful sky, uh, 79 degrees. The record, we made it up to the lower 80s there, the record 91, so back in 1967. West wind still gusting up to 24 miles per hour and a gorgeous day, warm for the end of September in Helena. Uh, not too far away, actually, from the record high. Record high is 84. Uh, set back in 1967. We're currently at 80 degrees right now. Uh, starting to cool off just a skosh up here along the high line of the Canadian border. Williston, North Dakota at about 64, but a lot of the states still up into the 70s and even the lower 80s. Billings hit 85 earlier. It's warm, it's dry. We've got wind. These are the sustained wind speeds, some gusts up to 20, 25, even 30 miles per hour. And uh, we actually have a new fire that uh, just started southwest of the uh, Three Forks area. So uh, these fires, not a lot going on here with the existing fires like the uh, Drumming Fire, the Bridger Foothills Fire, or even the State Creek Fire, that one up there by Whitetail Reservoir. But uh, not a lot of information here on this one uh, just yet. But here's uh, Three Forks. Uh, there would be Homestake Pass, and uh, there uh, is just a small fire that is producing a pretty good smoke plume right here. Just saw that on the satellite. Uh, could be potentially called the Antelope Fire, but uh, you know this area right here, a lot of sage and uh, ponderosa pine and um, some rough terrain in there, and uh, firefighters are responding to that fire uh, as I speak right now. But uh, not a lot going on as far as wet weather out west. A lot of much needed rain, believe it or not, on the East Coast, where they're pretty dry in New England. Uh, wind advisories for the Dakotas, red flag warnings, and there are some pretty big fires burning into southeastern uh, parts of Wyoming as well. And California still dealing with nasty air because of the wildfire smoke there. So again, besides that new fire, potentially named the Antelope Fire, um, just to the southwest of Three Forks, not much activity on Montana's fires, but uh, the fires into California continue to burn some good activity into Utah and also Colorado, Wyoming, Western Idaho out there by Lewiston. Uh, there are some good fires that are going as well. And once this high starts to slide off towards the east, it's going to pull some of that smoke back towards Montana as we get into Thursday. So for tonight, tomorrow, just a few clouds coming through tomorrow, a much cooler day by about 15 to 20 degrees, but still nice and sunny out there. Less wind, which is certainly nice. Thursday, a few high clouds. Late Friday, there may actually be a couple of rain showers into far eastern Montana. Very light, though, and few and far between. And then Saturday, Sunday, looking dry and warm here for most of the West, not just Montana. Here's the forecast for tonight. Getting a little cooler as a, a minor front again will be moving through the state. So not quite as uh, mild as it was last night. 30s and 40s here uh, for most locations. Here's the forecast for tomorrow. Front pushing down to the south. A little high pressure coming in. We'll see more of a north flow. And look at these high temperatures after today's highs in the 70s and 80s. will be down into the 50s and the 60s for most of the state tomorrow with mostly sunny skies. It's still a really beautiful fall day. For Thursday, uh, getting a little warmer back into the 70s for a few areas like Great Falls and Helen and Bozeman out there around Missoula. Again, mostly sunny and uh, dry for Friday. There could be a couple of showers far eastern Montana, but most of the state, 60s and 70s, and mostly sunny once again. And then heading into the weekend, the first of October, the first weekend of October, that is, 60s and 70s with mostly sunny skies. Helena, that smoke likely coming overhead Wednesday night into Thursday morning, but it should move out on Friday, and I do not think our air quality will suffer that much. And for Great Falls, looking at a much cooler day tomorrow by about 20 degrees, some smoke Thursday, and then pretty nice through the weekend. Coming up.